Hello everybody and welcome to a very upsetting episode of Andrew Rants, a video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch complain about everything that just plain pisses me right the hell off. And today, well, I actually wasn't planning on doing a rant video tonight, believe it or not. It's Sunday, I usually relax on a Sunday, watch some YouTube videos, play a couple of my rounds in one of my apps, you know, relax after the stressful week I usually have, especially this stressful week that I've had. However, just when I manage to finally relax myself, I come down from my anger-filled cloud. Pokemon sent me right back up there and even higher still. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for this news. Ash Ketchum has finally won the Pokemon League. I, I, I feel all of your agony. Uh, there are, things are not happy here at Rant Central because of this. I mean, there is panic in the streets. Pandemonium is beginning to rage. Hell on Earth is coming loose, and we do not know how to stop it. Ash Ketchum has finally won a Pokemon League. After 22 years, he is finally in the League Championships. He is finally a League Champion. And it had to be in one of the worst leagues ever. Now, as we all prepare for the end of the world, I am quoted as remembering, as remembering Professor Hubert J. Farnsworth as he said, and I quote, I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I'm starting to think he was right. Look, I'm all for Ash finally winning a Pokemon League. God knows it is well overdue. He lost in the Kanto region, but that was understandable. The series had just started, and he hasn't had that many victories under his belt. And every single gym badge he got, with the exception of Lieutenant Surge, was a I feel sorry for you have the badge sort of win. Lieutenant Surge was the only one he actually fought against and actually managed to beat on his own. Yeah, I'm not joking. I mean, granted, okay, Nurse Joy kind of gave him the idea of how to beat uh, Lieutenant Surge, but he did it himself. Him and Pikachu. Now, Brock, that was a give me because the sprinklers weakened Onyx and Pikachu electrocuted his ass because it was covered in water, which made no fucking sense! Misty? Meh, feel sorry for you, slash, I have the hots for you, slash, who cares? Lieutenant Surge, you've earned this badge, kid, it's yours. All the rest of them? I feel sorry for you here, have it. Hell, he didn't even technically beat Sabrina, the psychic Pokemon gym leader. He didn't beat her. Haunter just came in, started making her laugh. She lost her psychic connection with Kadabra, and he won by default. Even he felt hollow at that victory. That should tell you something. He won in the grass gym because he went back in to save the vile plume, or the gloom, or whatever the hell it was. And he went back in to save it. That was the only reason why he won that, because that Pokemon's trainer, who was the gym leader, felt a kindred thank you for saving my friend moment. <sighs> the fire gym leader. Okay, I you could technically say Ash won that one, but here's a news flash. He lost in the first round, and the only reason why he managed to beat Magmar, which should not have happened, by the way, was because Magmar was exhausted from chucking boulders to try to stop the volcano from erupting. Charizard finally got off its lazy ass and figured, I actually want to fight this guy because he saw how strong Magmar was. Otherwise, he couldn't have given a rat's ass about it. The eighth badge Ash got? Team Rocket had the fucking gym. All he had to do was blast their asses off. Instant badge win. Even Gary couldn't get that badge, and that miserable son of a bitch had already cleared out other badges in the, in the Kanto region. Which begs a different question, what other badges were in the Kanto region? You know, you know what, forget it. I, I don't want to think about that logic. Because some of those look like Johto badges. I, I don't know. Did he go to a different region? Were those sanctioned matches? You know what, who cares? That's, that's for the theorists to decide for me to not give a rat's ass for. 
Then you had the Orange Islands. And yes, okay, Ash won the Orange Islands. But here's the thing. The Orange Islands were just four islands. And then the champion. And the champions Dragonite and Pikachu were going, you know, the champions Dragonite and Ash's Pikachu were going at it. And yeah, that was a decent fight. Oh, let's see. After that, we went to the Johto region. And in all honesty, I would say this. Ash probably would have won that one. He had grown as a trainer. He managed to at least understand a little more about how Pokemon are, interact. And he put up one hell of a fight against Harrison. That Blaziken was overpowered, whooped his ass, and that was the end of it. Even Charizard being trained in the Charizard Valley was not enough to save him. But he did manage to beat Gary, so it's meh, screw off, because that was Gary's last and final ever Pokemon League. Yep, that's right. That was the one when Gary decided, I'm going to go become a Pokemon researcher like my grandpa. More power to you, buddy. Then you had the Hoenn region, which I personally would like to forget. I don't even remember half it. I remember that there was a Meowth that knew Thunderbolt, and that's about all I remember of it. Yeah, that one was like... I don't even know what that ranking was. What was it? The top eight? Top four? Who cares? Somebody had it up online, and I don't, just don't remember anymore. Then you had the Battle Frontier. Well, of course his little ass was going to win that. He seemed to win. There seemed to be a unique pattern here. He would win in between leagues. The leagues that aren't technically leagues. He would win those. Reason why? They don't count! They're side quests! Then you had the Sinnoh region. I don't even know where to begin with the Sinnoh region for how amazing it was. It, it was just fantastic. If it wouldn't have been for Tobias and his Darkrai knocking out all but two of Ash's Pokemon, I think he probably would have won. However, keep in mind, it was a full six-on-six six fight. And unlike the next region after this, he at least knew that his opponent was coming at him with six Pokemon. And I know a lot of people out there go, oh, but Tobias was a no-good cheater. <coughs> he had all legendaries. Yeah, think back to when we played the actual game for the handheld systems. We were that same asshole. We're going into that gym fight we're going into that Pokemon Elite Four battle. We're going into that championship fight with six legendary Pokemon. Come on. I know my team had Manape, Latias. I had a Rayquaza at one point, Mewtwo. Yeah, I was rocking legendaries. Come on. That just proved how badass of a trainer Tobias was. But then we go from... I at least did extremely well in this league, which even Brock admitted this is the furthest that Ash had come to this point, which it was true, but then sadly we lost Brock because he wanted to go become a Pokemon doctor, and I still miss Brock. He so sorely was needed more. Even his cameo in Sun and Moon along with Misty was just not enough to help the fact that he was a well-deserved character that needed to stay. God damn it! But no. No, no. Then we go... To Unova. Now, black and white are some of my are my favorite Pokemon entry. I have not played Black 2 or White 2. I would love to try to get those to play them. I'd have to get a second DS so I could trade some stuff around. But I loved that game. The aesthetics, the gym leaders, the battles, the Pokemon moves, everything was taken to the next level. There weren't legendaries scattered everywhere like they were fucking candy canes and it was Christmas. No, they were actually a difficult challenge to get. Sinnoh, oh, you go to this one lake and there's a legendary in there. Then you go to another lake and there's another legendary. And then there's a third lake and there's another legendary. Um, you can get a legendary by going to this one island. There's another legendary on another island, but you need a special pass. Or you can just cheat your way there, but don't worry. It'll be available as a DLC sort of thing for the uh, 
online content. And then there's another legendary, but you have to have two of these other legendaries or one each of them and a certain item, which you can possibly get in the game, but we're not going to tell you how. But then again, we'll just save it for the next game because you can get it in there, but again, we're not going to tell you how. And then so on and so forth. Not to mention the two badasses themselves. And if you find another item, you can channel these magical, mystical, clear stairs up to the Pokemon God himself, fucking Arceus! Sino had Pokemon legendaries scattered everywhere. Unova, which is black and white, had none of that. They were strategically placed. Oh, you had the roving one. That's cool. You had to trade to get the other one. But then, if you had both of them, you could get a third one. Which was even cooler. You still had the ability to get some other ones. Certain legendary Pokemon were available via DLC with GameStop. I missed getting Genesect. However, thanks to a glitch in the Matrix that I found out, I'm trying to get Genesect. It's not easy, mind you, but I'm trying nonetheless, damn it. But so on and so forth down the line, Unova was a shit show, both for plot, for battles, everything in general, it was a shit show. It's even worse when the final gym that Ash goes to isn't technically the one from the game. No, the one of the last gyms he goes to was a gym that was introduced in the second game. Yeah, the poison gym. Yeah, that's right. So that was a big middle finger to the fans. Then you had the whole, he's going up against an opponent that doesn't understand the concept of you have a six on six Pokemon fight, it's a full battle. No, he thinks a full battle is five Pokemon. Ash had the advantage over that little tiny bastard and he still lost because his Rylu evolved into Lucario. Or Rolu evolved into, either way, it evolved and whooped Ash's ass. It got overpowered too damn fast. That's bullshit. I mean, I know that Pokemon can evolve and their evolution instantly brings a massive power upgrade, but to whoop Pikachu's ass like it did, it wasn't even trying anymore. Pikachu could barely land a hit on it. It was done. That was a pathetic shit show. After doing so well the season before, you know, in the league that was prior to this, this league was a shit show. And then we go to Kalos. Oh, Kalos. You got rid of Dawn and Silent. You went to the land of milk and honey. And somehow they just decided to screw you in the ass. The whole deal with, with X, Y, and X, Y, and Z was friendship. That was the whole gist of it. You grow stronger together as friends. The more hardships you endure, the more you come out of it, the closer your bond will be. Ash and Greninja were the powerful team. They go Mega Evolution, Mega Greninja, and you have Mega Charizard X. And Charizard whoops Greninja's ass. Ash makes it into the top two. They couldn't have just made it a goddamn draw. Hey, look, you're both champions. Congratulations. That's how this one's going to get solved. Why? Because you both fought goddamn well. Both your Pokemon are knocked out. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ash wins. No, Ash loses in Kalos, and it's a middle finger. Then, just to add insult to injury, because, you know, we don't want Ash to possibly gather some of his older Pokemon when he gets to the next shit show. Good show, because you had, what was it? You had Unova, that was one shit show. Then we go to Kalos, which he should have won. But then, because we don't want any tie-ins other than Pikachu for the next one, we get rid of Greninja. It goes off into a forest somewhere to do... I don't even remember what the hell the deal was with that. And that's where it ends. Ash returns home, and then he goes and gets lamified, 
and then we get Sudden Moon. They have no Pokemon League in the Alola region. It's you go to these islands and you do this tribal thing, and then that's how you, you know, advance and become a master of this region. No, the one professor's not keen for that. No, we need a Pokemon League. A Pokemon League here would be a great idea. I approve. We've got to get a Pokemon League. They get one. That spelled trouble from the start. But then, when you get to the Pokemon League battles, Ash should have lost in the second goddamn round. When his Rowlet fell asleep. But no! The leader of the Alolan Islands stands up, calls the referee over, says the Pokemon just fell asleep, just wake it up and the battle can continue. But yet, way back in the Kanto region, Charizard takes a nap. Charizard is unable to battle. Pikachu is the winner. The winner is Richie. No, in this one, it's Rowlet, wake the hell up. Get back to battling. They didn't even know how to league properly. So, of course, Ash finally wins a Pokemon League in a garbage league because they don't know the rules. If a Pokemon's sleeping, that means it's unable to battle, morons. You whacking it, waking it up, that's hindering it. That would be like me, that would be like if I was a Pokemon referee and a Pokemon was fainted, I'm going to go, wait a minute. Go out there, use a revive on it. Okay, we're good to go. All right, continue the battle. No, it's knocked out. It's done. It's in, unable to fight. It's over. Ash lost second round. No, we want Ash to win this one. Why? Because the Galar region's going to be a massive dumpster fire. All right, we know this is coming. The game's going to suck because they're ditching half the stuff, adding too much stupid shit to it. So, of course, the anime is going to have to try to mimic this somehow. But no, the anime is going to do a complete 180, metal finger our asses, and here it is. You get Kanto through Galar, all the regions. Why? My guess is because somebody somewhere saw dollar signs in their goddamn eyes. Are going to make some money now. No, what you're going to do is piss off a lot of fans now. Apparently, uh, to at least to the best of my knowledge, no Ash or Pikachu was seen in a trailer for it, which has led fans to believe that Ash is no longer going to be the main character. There's no Pikachu. There's no fucking franchise then, because my little favorite electric rodent is the goddamn mascot of Pokemon. You look up a Pokemon logo, besides the one that you usually see, you're going to see a picture of a silhouette of Pikachu's head. He's the fucking mascot of the franchise. You don't just get rid of the... That would be like Nintendo suddenly telling Mario to get lost. That would be like Sega telling Sonic to take a hike. They're franchise mascots, for God's sake. That would be like all of a sudden I... Oh, God, what, what's a good one? Um. Oh, what's a good... Um, oh, oh, the, the, I can use Geico. I'll use Geico as an example. That insurance company. They had the gecko. You know how many other spokespersons they had? They had the caveman. They had the pig. Every time I saw that little oinker, I kept thinking pork chops, two ninety five a pound. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I said it. But then you had the gecko. The gecko was the winner. That would be like Minion. That would be like DreamWorks booting the Minions out and creating and saying that, no, we no longer have a franchise mascot. No, that's your mascot right there. Pikachu is the mascot of the Pokemon franchise. To not include him and his iconic partner that have been around for 22 fucking years is idiotic to me. But to have him win the Garbage League. Oh, yeah, I just got to win the final rounds. When I saw that trending on Twitter, I thought, this is a joke, right? <laughs> this is a joke. No, Ash has won the Pokemon League. After 22 years, he's won. 20 plus years of praying and hoping he's finally won a Pokemon League. No, no, no! I am not okay with this. I am not down with this. I am not kosher with this. This pisses me off. 
Not only did Ash win this garbage league, this shit show of a league, but now they're going to be using this as a finding moment for him. Well, Ash is finally a Pokemon champion of a garbage league. He's finally lived out his dream to be a Pokemon master. He was that in the Kalos region. He was that in the Sinnoh region. He whooped Paul's ass by using strategy over the bastard. That was a decent rival for him. For those of you that don't remember that, Paul was an arrogant mother, holy badass son of a bitch. The guy basically makes you want to kick him in the nutsack just seeing him on the streets. He abused Pokemon, released ones that were weak, only caught strong Pokemon, and the minute they were no longer strong enough to suit him, he kicked their ass to the curb. That's what happened with Chimchar. Yeah, that's right, Chimchar, who ended up evolving. Yeah, it evolved. It came back, whooped ass, took names, and that was how it went. Sure, okay, it was a lucky draw in the end that managed to get Chimchar or Infernape to win, but still, I'll go with it. But the fact that you say that Ash is now a Pokemon Master, bullshit! He was a Pokemon Master back in the Sinnoh. He was a Pokemon Master back in the Kalos region. The Unova League, I'd like to forget exists. The Hoenn League, I want to forget that exists. Ugh. He was a freaking master of Pokemon already. He knew how Pokemon worked. But he acts stupid at the start of every season. That's to dumb it down for the new audience members, morons! That's what happens! You get a new season of a show, you get a whole new start to it, they're not going to have the same basic principles that everybody else does. You have to bring them into it. You have to make them abreast of the situation. You have to bring them up to speed. This is how a Pokemon battle works. This is how type advantages work. Of course he's going to look like a fucking noob at that point because it's geared towards every single noob. Just sit down, shut up, and deal with it. But now the fact that he went to school, that really pisses me off. Because 20-some years, he was going, no school, I'm learning on my own. Now, all of a sudden, it's, you're going to school on the Alola Islands, in the Alola region. Why? That made no sense. He's got classmates now and friends. Misty and Brock show back up. They take trips. They bond together as a family. They have Z moves. Who the beat gives a shit? None of that's going to matter come the next game anyway. They're getting rid of Mega Evolutions and Z-Moves. You ain't going to have none of that shit because of Dynamax and Gigantamax bullshit. And now you have to throw the fact that Ash wins the league. The one thing, the one thing that so many people enjoyed, the one thing that we had going for us is the fact that you grow along with the character. Ash doesn't win a league. That means that he continues on his journey and we grow with him. The older we get the more we learn. The same for him. The more losses he gets, the more he grows. He's becoming a Pokemon Master the right way, slowly, over time. If he would have won the Kanto region, it would have went to his goddamn head. He won the Orange Islands because he had the experience from the Kanto region. He got his ass whooped in the Johto League because of losing to Harrison's Blaziken, but that was one hell of a fight. Then you go to the Hoenn region, which is a gigantic middle finger to the fans. But he wins the Battle Frontier, where he literally had to use strategy. That proves that he at least knows the basic concepts of it and can come up and formulate a plan. The thing is, he has to do it with what he has available to him. Sinnoh region? My god, he took on a guy that carried legendaries for Christ's sake. He managed to take out a legendary. That's a fucking badass move. You know the metal finger all around you lost to a Lucario because the damn kid didn't know that you have six Pokemon and a full team and was banking on his Pokemon surviving and taking out the last couple Ash had. Kalos region. He is in the top two. He got to the final round. It should have been a draw. Alola region. He wins. As I said, I'm going to quote Professor Hubert J. Farnsworth. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Okay? This is getting nuts. What the hell are we going to do now? Ash is a Pokemon League champion. What, what, what the hell does this mean? That means we're going to get a new protagonist? We're going to have this championship bullshit? Is that the whole region for this 
next upcoming Galar thing where all the regions are going to be there? One champion from each region? What, are, are we going to see Alan again from uh, from Kalos? Is he going to come back? That's what it is. He's going to come back. It's going to be the championship time this time. And we're going to have a new one that's going to just be the champion. And they're going to be going around to the different regions, isn't it? That's what it's going to be. You're going to screw us over that way, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. That's right. 22 years, Ash finally wins one. 22 years, he finally wins. 22 years, he won. He's got a room full of trophies. He won Pokemon Gym Battles. He won a Pokemon contest he, he tied with May. He won the Battle Frontier. He won the Orange Islands. He won this stupid fucking league. He should have won in goddamn Kalos, not in Alola. No, he's going to win in Alola, the Garbage League. He should have been kicked out at the second round when his Roland fell asleep. But no, this is the league he wins. This is what we've come down to. Ash Ketchum finally wins a goddamn league, and it's a garbage league. A garbage league. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you happy that Ash has finally won a Pokemon Championship after 20-some years? Or are you as disappointed as the rest of us? Sound off with your comments down below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and this has been a very painful and loud Andrew Rants. Bye, everybody, and I, I know, I, I feel sorry for us all. I, I really do.